On the outskirts of the city of Zendai, they're transforming garbage into electricity. This city was hit hard by last year's earthquake. Yoshiji Nagasawa's company will soon be producing biogas here. Karin Lipmeyer's firm built the facility, and she's come from Germany to have a look at it. As they tour the site, Nagasawa explains that the damage caused by the quake has now been repaired. These German-made steel tanks held up well when the quake struck. The Lip company has patented their design. The firm builds these facilities on-site for clients around the globe, tailored to their size, shape and security requirements. This earthquake-resistant reinforcement is specially made for Japan. Here we have a double wall filled with concrete. That's a doubly reinforced system in this lower area. The foundation is also especially strong to meet Japanese construction regulations regarding earthquakes. This is the second plant LIP has built in Japan. It should go into operation within weeks. It will produce power from vegetables thrown away at Sendai's market and food waste from local restaurants. The shredded biomass is left to ferment in the tanks built by LIP. The resulting biogas is transformed into electricity at the nearby thermal power station. I'd recommend that anyone who has organic waste build a biogas plant, whether farmers, industries or municipalities. Here we produce close to a megawatt of power per hour from 300 tons of garbage. That's enough to power some 1,000 households. But in Japan, which relies heavily on nuclear energy, this plant is an exception. Before the disaster at Fukushima, people here gave little thought to renewable energy. There are Japanese firms which make systems like these, but the price is too high compared to the German ones. The Germans also have lots of experience with building biogas systems. Their plants run smoothly and the quality is good. After two decades of doing business in Asia, Karin Lipmeyer knows high quality alone isn't enough. She's brought along a little gift for her host. It's part of business etiquette here. So is asking about people's last vacation or their children's studies. If the personal chemistry isn't right, she won't get the contract. Everything in Japan takes much longer at first. You must get to know your clients. In Germany, business is business. You sign the contract and it's done. Here you have to get to know each other. Once mutual trust has been established, cooperation can begin. Based in southern Germany, LIP does business in Malaysia and South Korea as well as Japan. Demand for green energy is growing, but LIP wants to remain a family business. We don't want to grow. Our philosophy is to stay small and keep doing research and development in our little workshop. We want to work with qualified partners. We have that in other countries and want that here in Japan. I'm currently in talks about entering a partnership with a company. They want our technology and a machine, and we get access to their market. Nagasawa's biogas plant has now become a model project. Groups of waste managers come from far and wide to see it. Producing electricity from biogas could be the key to meeting Japan's energy needs in the future. That's because Japan is desperately searching for alternatives to atomic energy. Since the Fukushima nuclear disaster, companies and politicians have welcomed renewable energy suppliers with open arms. What's happened in Japan was almost lucky, as it takes something like this to change people's thinking. The whole world's gained a small advantage from this terrible thing. Soon these silos filled with trash will begin producing biogas and generating electricity. But LIP's job doesn't end there. Even from 10,000 kilometers away, the German firm plans to stay in close contact with the operation in Sendai.